Hi guys, Chris and PJ here live in the Dream Giveaway Garage. Hello everyone. And we are trying something different again. We're trying to beat this uh, internet problem that we've been having. So we are now trying broadcasting at 720p instead of the 1080p. So the resolution is not quite as high, but hopefully we'll be able to get through this uh, without it uh, skipping for you guys. Yeah, because we love reading your comments. We love your comments from earlier today. You're as excited as we are about this Firebird Dream giveaway. And if there's one car that I can answer questions on, eh, it's gotta be that Pontiac Firebird. If you guys remember, I was the editor of High Performance Pontiac Magazine, have owned quite a few Firebirds in my day. Still have, a, still have one or two or three, or, well, that's all I'm admitting to. Uh, and, and Roger says, great, open hood. Open hood, yeah, that, that's great indeed. So this one's so fantastic. We'll be firing it up at the end of this video. Uh, PJ, do you want to possibly try a different Wi-Fi? No, we're not going to get anything better. Okay. All right, guys, super special car here, 350H04 speed convertible. Here are the numbers. In 1968, Pontiac produced 3,784 350H04 speed Firebirds. That's across hard tops and convertibles. Of the 87,000 or so Firebirds produced in 1968, about one in five, actually it's about 18% uh, were convertible. So if we take 18% of that 3784, you guys have a calculator, somewhere around maybe 750 cars. So we estimate that this 350 HO4 speed convertible is one about 750. That doesn't count the fact that black was a special order color in 1968. I'll show you the window sticker on another day uh, once we get all this uh, Facebook Live stuff worked out. Uh, they spent an extra nine dollars to get this this uh, starlight black paint uh, on here. Starlight or maybe no it's tuxedo black. In, uh, in 1968. Gotta love the body lines on this thing. Oh, you gotta love the body lines. And you know, people say, people who don't know the difference will say, well, that's a good looking Camaro. Well, it's not a Camaro. It doesn't have a Chevy engine in it. It's a Firebird. Uh, both Camaros and Firebirds were F bodies. How many convertibles? They made about 18,000 convertibles. 18,000 Firebird convertibles in 1968. And again, with the 350 HO, that stands for high output, four speed combo, we're talking 750 or less. How many of those were triple black? Who knows? Under 100? Hard to find. I'll no, tell you no guys that. On this, Look no. at that. Hey, that's where the gas. That's where the filler cap is, Peter. Oh, that one spins to the right. It's nice. Isn't that cool? And you know what I love most about the the 1968 Firebird? I love the Firebird itself. Isn't that like a cool mid-century Firebird that's on there? I mean, when they moved to the Trans Am, it, you know, is a much more aggressive-looking one. But this one is so kind of mid-century cool. You know, the Firebird name came from some turbine cars uh, that General Motors had designed back in the 50s. There's a Firebird 1, a Firebird 2, and a Firebird 3. And they were like space age concept cars. If you're ever at the Heritage Center in Detroit, you can ask and see if they have any of those on display. And that's where the name came from, uh, the GM Firebird prototypes back in, or concept cars back in the 50s. Of course, Chevy came out with the Camaro first, Pontiac followed about six months later uh, with the Firebird, and three years for the first generation, 1967 to 1969. 69 ran a little bit long as they were preparing the second generation bodies and getting them ready to go. And then in early 1970, that's 70 uh, body style, what we call that second gen body style came out and uh, the Trans Am that we all love and, and uh, is so cherished by so many people today, including the Bandit era 
Trans Am. But back to this 68, let's hear that door. First time doing it, I'm gonna be doing this for 11 months. Oh, <laughs> that was good. Very I'm gonna do that again. Do it again, huh? By the way, this one's standard interior car. Uh, does not have the tilt wheel, has an AM radio, has a manual convertible top. But what's neat is, and you just see a PJ's looking down there, Firebirds in 68 came stock with uh, drum brakes, either manual or, or power assist. This one has the extra cost power disc brakes, the same uh, calipers that are used in Corvettes this year. Uh, you know, Roger like says to manual that. top. Manual top, Roger. <clears throat> yep, with a zip out window. So you zip out the window when you, when you put the top down. Mike um, Brown says, great restoration, gotta have leaded fuel in it or no? No, uh, the engine's been redone. So you can use unleaded on there. You don't have to worry about the valve seats. That's, that's all fine. So uh, remember our GTO Dream giveaway ended. At the time we, we couldn't find another GTO to make sure we had another Pontiac to give away. Uh, but we found this Firebird out of a private collection. And we hey, Chris, you've been holding back. <clears throat> holding back, that's you've right. You've known about this thing for such a long time. Yeah. Now, now all you guys can see it as well. Great paint, great bo uh, body work, uh, great uh, bright work. Uh, one thing I will point out to you, because I know you guys will ask at some point, are those wheels original to the car? They are not. It's very popular to put 15-inch Rally 2s on Firebirds of this era. That's what you're looking at right now. It originally came with 14-inch steel wheels with uh, wheel disc covers. Uh, but they, I'll tell you, the car looks great with those 15-inch wheels on there. Did come with red line bias flies from the factory. And of course, now there's red line radial tires on those 15-inch wheels. Mike Brown said he would get a shifter knob just to honor me. Yeah, Mike, <laughs> if you send a white shifter knob, we'll put it on for you, okay? Um. We can do Floyd that. says, yes, I was going to mention that. It is not a, cre a Chevy 350, but a separate Pontiac engine. Yeah, that's correct. The Pontiac engine, uh, the Pontiac V8 from the 350, maybe from the 326 all the way to the 455, all share the same common outer dimensions. It's the, the stroke and the bore that are different inside. And then, of course, the casting uh, of the block itself. So in the, this case, this has, and I, for, I forget what the bore and stroke is, however, uh, this comes out to, I think it comes out to 349 and some change and they round it to 350. But a Pontiac 350 is entirely different than a Chevy 350, other than the fact that it's a, you know, it's a V8 configuration. What's with the blue color? We've seen that in a couple older cars. That's a great question, PJ, and, I, and I'm going to tell you. So back in the day, the engine manufacturers all had identifying colors for their engines. So for example, you see Hemi orange paint on some Dodges. If you look over the Oldsmobile here in 1967, you see the copper color. So each of the uh, manufacturers painted their engines a certain color. Pontiacs had a series of colors, uh, but this one you see often, uh, the earlier ones had a different shade of blue. The later ones also had a later shade of blue, uh, but they were all a, a, a shade of blue. Paul, local Paul here says, uh, really hey, sweet Chris. Um, hey PJ, love the bird. That's nice. Uh, yeah. Mike Brown, Gen 1 Firebird emblem is iconic. All right, is it okay to give someone the bird? <laughs> yeah, today it is. <laughs> uh, no, when the sweepstakes ends, we'll be giving someone the bird. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, Barry says, my first car was a 67 400 four-speed, and I truly love that car. I think of it often. I had it for 26 years. Wow. Very close to a 68. 67 had vent windows and had a slightly more primitive a rear suspension uh, set up back there that Pontiac engineers were able to... to to get figured out in time for the 68 model year. But 67 to 69 birds are, are um, a breed all their own, super popular, fun car. Chris, talk about this front end and the way it looks. I mean, it's almost looks like it's got a beak. It does. 
And you could say, does it look like a bird beak? No, that's a common Pontiac theme throughout uh, the 60s, not just on the Firebird. The, the GTO, uh, even though it's in it, the GTO nose is a polyurethane nose, still has that kind of beak looking design on there. I dig this car. Are we going to fire it up or what? You want to fire it Paul, up? Paul, can we give you the bird? <laughs> All right, let's fire it up. We're not, <laughs> not going to keep it on for too long. because No, it, no. It does fill the garage a little bit. It's not like a newer car, that's for sure. Let's count the ashtrays in this car first, PJ. Oh, all right, How all many right. ashtrays are there? Well, I don't see any in the doors. Okay. And I do see one in the panel you right there. Yeah, one in the panel there. And I see the uh, open vents over there on the sidewalls. Yeah. And but in there the back seat, you've got one right there. there. So we got three ashtrays. And one over here. <laughs> Isn't that ah, crazy? The days of Paul Malls and Lucky Strikes. And sitting in the back seat <laughs> in a convertible. There you go. Again, standard interior on this one. Easy way for you guys to know that the deluxe interior cars have a grab handle right here on the Firebirds. Wow. And they have a molded door panel instead of that flat that door panel. Uh, I dig it. You know, chrome looks nice. Uh, 92,000 original miles. What's neat is it's got the hood tack from the factory. Oh, yeah. It's, I didn't even notice that, Chris. Yeah. And it has an electric clock from the factory, but what someone did was they changed out the mechanism in, in the casing and they put a, a uh, two gauges there, an oil and a water gauge. That's, that's kind of trick. So that's not factory, but the outer casing here is. It's got a nice, uh, nice oh, console, console here as well. And look at all these keys and look at that. Where, oh, there you are, PJ. Got that nice Firebird. I like the Firebird. Yeah, it's gonna be great. All right, Chris, I'm going to go back let's, here. Let's do it, guys. Nice exhaust. Okay, guys, I promised PJ that I want to keep it running. It's for got two. a nice rumble, though. It's got a nice rumble, indeed. Got a nice exhaust on it. Uh, 320 horsepower on it. Uh, you guys are saying, oh, well, why didn't you get a 400 uh, convertible? Well, this one was so nice, and the horsepower difference between the, the 350 HO and a base 400 is only 15 horsepower. Uh, so it's not a ton of horsepower difference, and this one is great. It uh, looks to me that this is an aftermarket wheel and an aftermarket center cap. Uh, the ones in 68 were made out of plastic, and they often crack, and they crack right here in the back. So this is a nice aftermarket addition to it. Uh, I can tell you so much about this because, like I said, I love Firebirds very, very much. You could talk about this for 11 months. I will. Thank you. <laughs> Do I have your permission, PJ? Certainly. Can I give you the bird? <laughs> you can't give it to me, but somebody else You're not else allowed can. to enter. That's right. That's how, right. All how right, does guys. Some, how so, does somebody get the bird? Uh, here's how someone can get the bird from Dream Giveaway. <laughs> I have to stop laughing for a moment, PJ. Go to dreamgiveaway.com. Use promo code Facebook Live, and you'll have a chance for us to give you the bird. <laughs> that's right. It's beautiful, beautiful uh, that, firebird. That's right. Anybody else out there who needs a shout out, PJ? Uh, I think that's it. We're so remember, let us give you the bird. Help out those eight great charities today, and you'll be in it to win it. Uh, this just launched today. It'll be running for 11 months, so it'll run through January of 2024. The winner will fly him here just like we're going to fly uh, Wendell from North Dakota here for the 69 GTO on March 15th. And tomorrow, another big day, PJ. Tell them what's happening. Big day. We've big got day. a Boss Mustang 302, right? We'll know who the winner of the Boss 302 is tomorrow. That's right. Right. We won't give them the bird. We're giving them the Boss. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Okay, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. More great fun. More great action and the best grand prizes ever. You can always find them here in your favorite place on earth, the Dream Giveaway Garage for dreamgiveaway.com. See you tomorrow. See you next time, everyone. <laughs>